Hello, uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, speak about uh, some of my experience. Um, so, yeah, like I think like, you know, uh, my experience really uh, comes from a lot of different uh, backgrounds. Uh, but with regard to specifically on the quant finance, I think the closest that I'm in to the uh, quant finance is really currently uh, running and building a brokerage firm specifically built for quant finance and algorithmic tradings uh, so our users are of course like individual users uh, who's trading algorithms in the US markets as well as uh, you know startup hedge funds uh, and the small quant hedge funds uh, you know they all use our product so um, it's really you know fascinating to see how this uh, you know market is growing um, before this uh, running this alpaca I was uh, actually trading uh, very much firstly manual trading by myself or day trading in FX and then went on to start doing the um, algorithmic trading in the FX market but you know it has been a very different journey if I were to uh, you know choose a different uh, you know US market like that but but like it has been a very very uh, uh, fulfilling experience with regards to uh, specific on the uh, quants finance, when I started my career in, uh, you know, financial industry, uh, when I was in college uh, in 2004, I started working at uh, Lehman Brothers, uh, when, you know, which is the one that caused the previous shock and the meltdown of the credit market in 2008 and 2009, and I was literally packaging uh, subprime mortgages and ABS CDOs at Lehman. So. I really learned from that experience about one is that uh, my job at those big banks can be all automated, even with dealing with the um, market like asset-backed securities, uh, securitized product, which is illiquid, but it can be very much automated with the decision-making process can be coded. And another is that definitely that um, ripple effect of what happens when something goes wrong and i think this is like you know same as uh you know trading in general and quant finance in general as well because you always like you know want to understand what affects uh certain things here and there and i think like you know working at lehman packaging a bunch of the different risks into the one thing made me understand that world is extremely connected uh not only the um, information but actual risk standpoint uh like you know what a lot of uh, financial products carries different types of the risks and those risks are actually held by so many different types of the people and investors and the institutions and when things gets affected that like it changes the demands and supplies of those uh big investors that really affects the market so I think those are the things that I really uh, was able to experience um, when I started my career at Lehman Brothers and then, you know, went on to Nomura to uh, did a lot of credit derivatives uh, solutions, taking off the risk of the credit risk uh, from the banks and the insurance companies. But I think like, you know, through, uh, you know, going through this uh, experience at the big firms, uh, that after like you know made me realize that like I was really relying on the names of the you know firms that I was working at. I went on to uh, you know do day trading myself for three years. The main reason why was that um, capital market is always there. Even the uh, you know Lehman shock basically destroyed the whole asset backed securities and ABS market. As long as human beings are alive, there will be always a supply and demand of the things, and which means there is a fear and there is a greed, and that creates the volatility in the market. And that made me realize, as long as humans there, as long as I stay alive, capital markets of the financial assets is always there. So that is really why that you know I wanted to understand 
one as a one individual how much I can really do and fight in the um, you know trading space because it does not trade um, capital markets financial uh, you know financial market does not discriminate discriminate anyone at all. It's really about who's smarter, who has a more logical thinking, and like you know who has a gut, and like you know who who can actually succeed. And the results tell everything about if you're good or not. And that's very different from the corporate world. Uh, even at those big financial institutions, of course, numbers matter, but of course, there's a lot of relationship with people, and those things matter a lot too. So when I thought about the possibility of the capital markets and how fair that is, and that is really the foundation of a reason that you know keeps me driving to uh, build uh, companies and the uh, projects at the financial market. And you know, even though I'm running a you know the fastest growing API stock broker in the U.S., uh, you know, I'm not from the United States. I'm uh, originally from Japan, and the of course being Japanese is not very same thing as uh, you know naturally born in the United States and working in the Wall Street. But it really doesn't matter for the you know financial markets because financial markets sees you as not like you know it, it doesn't matter where i'm from japan or like it, it doesn't matter how i look like because if you're smart uh, they treat you fair if i suck i lose money if i'm good i make money and that like you know fair things is i think that that's going to continue and i think like you know that's going to even accelerate with how the world is going like I think, like as all of you and myself as well, we are all locked down uh, with the coronavirus, and of course, like this coronavirus um, will be gone, or like you know, we have to live with it uh, in the future. But what it is certain is that uh, this is also making the world even flatter. Everyone has to stay home. Everyone has to be basically, you know, working remotely and trading remotely. So basically, like, you know, even you are in Wall Street or even you're in Chicago, it doesn't matter anymore. I can be in Japan and I can be basically the same as the people in Chicago or New York City or uh, Wall Street. Um, so that makes it like you know, even freer and more flexible for everyone in the world and to really compete with actually how good each of us are. And I think that creates even fair market. And I think that's um, that that's why like you know it's really good to be right now in the like an understanding about uh, you know trading because trading is the core of the risk of reward. Understanding that is basically same as running a business. I started running like you know alpaca um, from 2015. But that really was helped by my experience uh, doing trading and day trading. It's all about risk and rewards. Of course, there are a lot of complication running a business, managing the people, understanding the risks of uh, partnerships, of relying on the market, relying on the you know a lot of different infrastructures. But like you know, you understand the risk and you think about the reward, and you always are calculating in your head. What is good or bad? And I think that's the very same thing as quant finance and trading. And I think like, you know, the experience of learning about quant finance and algorithmic trading is that to prepare us for many different things that may not even relate it to, uh, you know, finance or capital markets at all. And as we all know, after Corona, the world is going to look very different. And uh, in my personal view, this, you know, this, it, it just started it, in my opinion, in terms of the market volatility. Um, and, you know, we will be challenged many, many things, uh, personally, professionally. But I think, like, you know, understanding what we have learned through trading and what we are learning in through trading, that's also all connected to, um, you know, our personal life as well. And, you know, 
we also need to remind ourselves the world's going to be a very different place, but it's actually better and more fair and flatter if we think about it in a positive manner. And I think, you know, trading will be always there because as long as humans are there, there's a basic greed and fear which creates volatility. And that's always a good thing. It never goes away. Companies shut down, but the market really never shuts down. It's always there. And the cool thing is that there's a bunch of the fractionalization of a lot of things. So you will be more different types of the market, including different asset classes like crypto. And there's a bunch of the fractionalization of a lot of actual things that will be a market as well. And that can be basically became possible with a lot of technologies that a lot of people are building. So a lot of things to trade and a lot of things to uh, you know create uh, algorithms for. So I think there is a huge opportunity for all of us to be in this place right now and in the future. So again, like I'm excited to be here, um, and the uh, you know I'm excited to be very much involved in this uh, quant finance and algorithmic trading uh, to make uh, basically the world is more fair place regardless of uh, where we are. And I, I I feel that for myself because I'm not from the United States. And I, I feel that, you know, we can have a better opportunities, more fair place in the world in the future. And again, uh, thank you very much for your uh, time. And like, you know, I wish you the uh, best of luck in your journey. And please do stay safe and healthy. Thank you.